From Sam Hollis to Mikel Arteta. From the Highbury to the Emirates Stadium. As a phoenix rises from its ashes, this is the story of redemption, the glory and the shame, the journey of the giants from North London. The Gunners always shoot for the stars, as they had won three Premier League titles in the first 12 years of the competition's inception. This great feat was all thanks to the French wonder manager Arsene Charles Ernest Wenger. Holding on, but Wenger's found his place at last. The Japanese club Grampus 8 will keep him tied until the end of this month. Then he'll officially take over at Highbury on October the 1st with Pat Rice. Who won the team's first Premier League title in his first year as manager. Wenger's people management style was far from traditional. Adopting a free-thinking philosophy, he encouraged the players to use their initiative on the ball, and when mistakes were inevitably made, he didn't berate them nor lose trust in their abilities. In theory, Wenger's laissez-faire leadership made good sense. He had a frugal approach in the transfer market, as he preferred cheaper options and building young signings into great players. He was heavily criticized for this, he adopted a possession-based style of play popularly referred to as Wenger Ball, a modified version of Pep Guardiola's Tika Taka seen at Barcelona. The goal of Wenger Ball is to basically find the prettiest way to build up to a goal, normally consisting of tight, intricate, one-touch passing finding many of the 11 players on the pitch. Wenger took the club to a record-breaking feat an impeccable display of exquisite craft and sportsmanship that has never been seen in the football world. Winning a Premier League in the 2003-2004 season undefeated and going 49 games without losing. This was the last time Arsenal would win a Premier League title, as everything slowly began to take a dark turn despite efforts by Arsene Wenger. Arsenal manager ends in a crushing defeat. Chelsea just blew his side away. Once Invincibles, the untouched team despite being in the top four never managed to pull it off again. And the game comes to an end, a memorable victory for Manchester City. 3-0 up on 48 minutes, Aaron Lennon made it 4 on 60, they got a consolation. It's not this test you're going to end yet. going on a long spell of nine years without a trophy. A manager once revered as a hero had lost the patience of the fans.
we start, the amount of things that's going wrong, like you say, it all it does come back to Arsene Wenger's door. We're three games in, and we're literally at a crisis point. We're losing players. People are talking about oh, the Ox opening the door for Draxler. Why would Draxler sign? The, the, when you say, do I think he should go? I would like him to go simply because I do not believe now that Arsene Wenger can motivate those players with everything that's going on above. Arsenal was sinking into a rabbit hole as fond memories past seemed much farther than the present. I it was, was time to, to go. The Arsenal goalkeeping coach at the club on the day that he arrived and it very quickly became clear to me and to everybody connected to the club that this man knew exactly who he was. Thank you all very well for having me for such a long time. I know that's not easy. But above all, I am like you. I'm an Arsenal fan. One simple word, I will miss you. Thank you all for having such an important, being such an important part of my life and hope to see you soon. Well done, bye bye. After Wenger's departure in 2018, Arsenal had short-term managers Unai Emery and Freddie Jungberg. Ex-Arsenal player and assistant manager at Man City, Mikel Arteta. Would have a rough start. the game, but again, the effort, the fight, the spirits, the way they played in this stadium and how much they kept trying, they never give up. It's to applause, but uh, it's not enough at the moment to win football matches because we're not scoring goals. But he was on a mission. Some actions that you do, attacking and defending men, that before I didn't see. And you have to get out of that system to become the leader in that back. We have a... Despite a poor start and negative reception of fans, the management had faith in his process. Teta, out! Close your eyes. With new we tactics. And impressive signings. Welcome. Arteta has made significant progress. Despite ending the previous season at fifth on the table, Arsenal has had by far the best season in a very long time.
top for the better part of the season. There's a long way to go to the finish line, but the youngest team in the league have shown resilience and a winning spirit. Edison invented the light bulb. Today I want to see a team that is connected because a ball by himself is nothing. I want to see a team that is connected with each other and that shines. And you want to transmit to him light and energy and passion and how you play football and you do the same. And each of us play the game connected. Because what it happens when we play connected guys? What is the next thing that happens? That we connect with 60,000 people that creates more energy. Because at the end it is electricity that through heat creates light and life. Because if not it would be fucking dark if this guy wouldn't have the idea to do that. And I want you to play like this today because as good as we are it depends on one thing. What it makes us special is our attitude. And today I want you to play with that attitude. Go out there, fucking turn the line on and play football. Let's go. Let's go. Would they win the title after 19 years? We have to respect the process. It's been really difficult. Start, stop, start, stop, start. Um, but yeah, we will get it right. This is the Centrum. Like, subscribe and share. Just the facts.